you're never going to make any money trading the forex market. Trust me, I'm a 30 years experienced veteran trader. Oh, I hate watching myself. Now, this is one of the earlier videos that I produced when I started the channel a few years back. I still actually have this car. You know, I get a lot of comments on the channel. I read and comment back to most of them. I get a lot of positive comments about this car. But I also get the doubters out there saying, if you're so good at trading, why are you still driving an old beaten up BMW? Well, that's the way it is. This BMW I bought when I was 22 years old. It's got less than 20,000 miles on the clock. It is indeed my pride and joy. But it is fair to say that this is the most commonly widely viewed video that I have on my channel. I think we've got something like 1.5 million views at the time of recording. As I say, I've got lots of comments about the video itself, but it's also fair to say I do get some negative feedback as well, mainly from those that can't actually be bothered, I think, to watch the entire video, perhaps because of the title. It's a real shame because the topic that I cover in this video, I think, is the most important lesson that you'll ever learn when starting to trade the forex market or indeed any trading entity. And it's called the cycle of doom. Now, once you understand what the cycle of doom is, you can then start to avoid falling into it. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly what the cycle of doom is. And then I'm going to show you six simple steps that you can put into your, say, roadmap your roadmap to becoming a consistently profitable trader. This video, if you can be bothered to watch it till the end, will probably be the best video you will ever watch when it comes to trading. It's going to save you a lot of time, it will save you a lot of money, not only lost in the markets, but also lost on all those expensive overpriced trading courses and webinars and so forth. I really do hope you enjoy it. So what is the cycle of doom? So clearly, when you start trading, you need to have a strategy, hopefully a profitable strategy. What is a strategy? Basically, a strategy is a series of rules, basically criteria that tells you when to buy and when to sell. You can develop one yourself or you can buy one off the shelf, but it's a good idea to have a profitable trading strategy. Once you've got that, off you go into the markets and you start trading away and you start making money. It feels great. I'm now a trader. I'm going to tell my boss to go and jump in the lake. But with any strategy, it doesn't matter where you get it from, you're going to hit a losing streak. You're going to have losing trades. Losing doesn't feel comfortable. After all, we didn't come into trading to give money back to the market, to lose in the market. So it's not comfortable. We've got to do something about it. So what do we do? we will tweak the strategy. We'll put in some extra criteria in there. Maybe we'll put in a Bollinger Band or a moving average crossover. Now we certainly can't lose. Put them in, what happens? You start making money again. You hit that profitable streak again. You're now a really established trader. You've now got the best strategy, optimized strategy out there. Then the inevitable happens. You start losing again. You hit some losing trades. This can't be right. I've got the perfect optimized strategy. I know, I'll put in some more. So I start tweaking again. I'll put in maybe an RSI indicator or I'll put in um, a MACD crossover or stochastic. They're great, I'll put one of those in. I can't lose if I put in a stochastic. And then you start making money again. You have now finally cracked it. Whoa, hang on. I've hit a losing streak again. I'm now losing. Oh, I don't like losing. Every time I go one step forward, I take two steps back. So this strategy is clearly not working. I'm just going to ditch this strategy and go and find another one. Find another educator. Find another course to go on. I can't be losing like I am at the moment. So you find yourself a new strategy. And off you go again. You start making money. And then that strategy starts to lose. So you start tweaking and you end up in this cycle of doom, hopping between strategy after strategy, putting different criteria into your strategy, you're in that cycle of doom. And being in that cycle of doom is the biggest killer. It's chaotic and it causes the downfall of most traders. I'm now gonna show you six steps you can put into a roadmap to avoid you falling into this chaotic 
cycle of doom. Okay, so here we are on my fancy little roadmap. We're starting up here, number one, and we're gonna end up going down to number six. If you can follow the points that I mentioned on this roadmap, in this order, then I think it will hold you in good stead, give you a half a chance in becoming a consistently profitable trader. Now, along this roadmap, I'm gonna to outline to you some videos that I've done before. They are available on the YouTube channel. Some of you may have seen them already, but obviously I'm just gonna skim over the, the pointers here. You can go and do some further education on my channel, so make sure you subscribe and you see all these other videos there. I'll highlight them to you as well, so you can take a note. Uh, you can always watch this video back as well, so take a note of the actual video. Don't go straight to that one now. Watch the whole of this one. So, number one, we're gonna start off with realistic expectations. What are the realistic expectations? It's because people come into the market with the wrong expectations, because they're expecting something more than the market is able to give them, that's why they fall into the cycle of doing. People often ask me, what should I be looking for to achieve on my Forex account? Can I turn $500 into $10,000? Can I turn $1,000 into a $10,000 trading account? I cover that in this video, in fact. Go and check it out at some point. I basically say to, uh, to members, if you're starting with $500, don't expect to give up your day job. I would actually say 4 to 5% on a monthly basis is a good return on your investment. So 5% on $500 is about... 25 bucks. Most people can't live on $25 a month. Does that mean you shouldn't be trading? Absolutely not. You can still grow a $500 trading account, prove to others that you can trade, and there's other avenues you can go down. But be realistic in your expectations. If you've watched all those videos about the Lamborghinis and guys lying on their beds of all these dollars all over the place and thinking that's what you want, that is not real. It's not realistic expectations. And if you are trying to achieve that, you are going to fall into that cycle of doom. Number two on my roadmap is the strategy selection. I mentioned it a moment ago when I was talking about the cycle of doom. Clearly, you need a strategy. You can develop your own. I've done numerous videos on my channel here talking about different strategies. You can take a screenshot of these and go and check them out in your own time. Some good strategies that I've been trading for a period of time, but they're my strategies. You've got to make them your own strategies as well. You can use these or you can develop your own. You can cannibalize these, use parts of these, but get a profitable trading strategy. Once you've got a profitable trading strategy, you need to backtest. Backtest is very important. And I've done a video on backtesting as well. Backtesting isn't just saying, oh, this is profitable, but knowing your strategy, knowing the metrics of a strategy. What do I mean by metrics? Go and check out this video, how to tell a good strategy from a bad one. It looks at all the metrics, the profit factor, the expectancy, the average loss, the average win ratio, lots going on there. You need to backtest and thoroughly understand your strategy. Why is that so important? Well, because when you hit that losing streak, you're not perturbed. You're not gonna fall into that cycle of doom because you've seen that losing streak happen in your backtesting results. You know your strategy is expected to have this losing streak, so you're not gonna start tweaking it. It gives you much more confidence when you're trading a strategy, when you know what to expect before indeed it happens. If you're going into the market and you haven't backtested a strategy, either one of mine or one you've developed yourself or one you found somewhere else, if you haven't backtested it, you won't have the confidence to continue when you hit that losing streak. Very, very important. So number four, the trade challenge on a demo account. This, I think, is very, very important. Let's assume you've got your realistic expectations. Yeah? You've got your strategy now. You've sorted out your strategy and you've run it through some vigorous backtesting. It's, it's now time to put this strategy to the test with real forward-looking data. So I challenge you to trade your strategy that you've written down on a notepaper with a checklist and you start to trade that on a demo environment. I set out in this video a challenge, 25 trade challenge I call it. Are you able to trade this strategy with your rules 25 times without fail? Believe me, most can't do it. Most will fall into that cycle of doom before they complete the 25 trade challenge. 
ideally do 50 or 100. But this is a mental test. A lot of people say to me, should you trade demo or live money? Two scores of thought. I'm a firm believer that you should be trading demo first to test your mental resolve, to test your discipline. People say, well, if you're trading demo, it's not real money. You should have some skin in the game to make the emotions more, more real. Well, my attitude is, if you haven't got the mental ability to treat a demo account with real respect, that this is something you want to take seriously in life, if you haven't got the mental ability to treat it with respect and the discipline, you ain't going to make money in the real market when it comes to emotions as well. So demo all day for me. Do that 25 trade challenge. Number five on my roadmap is probability. Trading is all about probability. It's all about getting an edge and letting that edge play out over time. I cover this in a video. Um, it's basically a pro trader's mindset versus yours. Professional traders, they don't think in terms of one particular trade. Is this trade gonna make me or break me? They look at the number of trades over the course of a month, six months, a year, letting their edge play out over time. You've all heard that story before about the coin toss. If you toss the coin 10 times, you should get five heads and five tails. Chances are you might get six and four, seven and three, whatever. Toss that coin 10,000 times, you're gonna get pretty much bang on 50-50 outcome. This video is very good on that. It explains the laws of probability and how no one trade in the Forex market should make you or break you. Once you've done all these five uh, points here on the roadmap, it's time to start live trading. Live trading, on a real live environment with low leverage. What do I mean by low leverage? A lot of traders fall into the cycle of doom because they're over leveraging. They're taking on too much risk. Too much risk basically causes too much emotion. If you've got these realistic expectations and you've followed all these points here on this roadmap and you're using low leverage, you're giving yourself a half a chance. Chances are you won't fall into that cycle of doom. Okay, so there you have it. Those are my six key pointers that I think if you, if you go off, if you take them on board, will hold you in good stead on your road to success to become a consistently profitable trader. Really, you don't need to be spending tens of thousands on trading courses, hopping between mentors and so forth. Just follow those six key points and you should be doing just fine. Now, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to leave a comment. Um, tell me what you think of the BMW. I get back to all of them um, in due course. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And you can, of course, follow us on Facebook so you can tune in live every Monday afternoon, 2 p.m. for a live streaming event. We also stream live each and every day around the clock, five or six times a day, myself and my co-mentors here at forexsignals.com. Do come over and say hi. I think you've got a seven day free trial as well. We're always looking for trading opportunities, trading live in front of our members, also discussing these elements um, to keep people from falling into that cycle of doom. It's like having a private mentor on your shoulder throughout the trading day. Hope to see you in there. If not, hope to see you on Facebook. If not, then I'll see you on the next video. Happy trading and good luck.